Well, as you can see, I got some new leaf springs on. Fuel tank's back in. Right now, I am working on getting some of this old wiring out for the strobes that used to be back here, neons, all the old school stuff. So I'm going to get that all done while I got this thing up in the air and put the wheels back on it and see if we're sitting any different. One thing I will say is those are Beltac drop shackles, so it's this drop is I think two to three inches, something like that. So I may have to get the stock ones, or yeah, I may have to get the stock ones. They're like 42 bucks on Amazon. That'll raise it up probably another two or three inches but we'll see at this point with the leaf springs being in I feel better about that in the long run and then we'll see what uh, how this thing sits and kind of go from there forgot I would do the shock sh uh, rear shackles that's not too terrible at this point the hard part is done fuel pump fuel tank fuel filter and leaf springs so put some get this cleaned up and then put the wheels back on it and get her back down on the ground and move on from there and as you can see we are back on the ground sitting a lot higher I know it doesn't look great for the gap but that might be close enough to get it out of the driveway the front end is still sitting pretty low, so that's where we're at. Leaf springs are in, pump, filter, tanks back in, all that's wrapped up. So a little bit more of pulling the alarm and put fluids in it and see if we can get her to turn over.